Alright guys, how are you today? I'm bringing a new video on my channel. So today is going to be a pretty much a very different video to what I normally do. It's not going to be like an episode of anything like of me PvPing on like Skywars or Bedwars or even Windcraft or anything like that. Today is going to be basically a guide video for you guys on Psycho PvP. I've been going on Discord lately and in game and also like on the forums and there's a lot of people asking about like how to do certain things in Psycho PvP. Seems to be a lot of new players coming to Psycho PvP lately, which is a faction server. If you don't know what it is, go and check it out down below. The IP will be in the description as well as like the forums and the store and all of that jazz. And um, yeah, it's a very good server, but it's kind of hard to get into. Uh, especially for new players that have no idea about it so i was looking around on youtube and there wasn't many um there wasn't many like tutorial videos or like videos just, like showing you out there i know you can like go and watch like creeper sedges videos or like faction ravens videos or anything like that and you know watch them and learn about it in that but you know i was having a conversation with a helper or I, I think he was like a mod or something and he was basically saying like oh people can just go and watch those videos but there's not actually a video out there like a tutorial video going in depth showing you step by step what to do or just explaining it a little bit better i'm not going to be able to show you everything and i won't be able to show you everything in pure amazing detail as i don't have all these like i don't have all the cash to actually buy all these things to actually show you but i'll be able to show you where they are how you can use them and stuff like that um but yeah I'm, I'm gonna try and make this tutorial as good as possible and guys if this does help you out at all or if you just really appreciate this because this video has taken me a long time to upload um i think this video is going to be over 40 minutes long so this is literally going to take about half of my day to render and then upload um and also it's taken me a long time of research to actually rec um to like find out all the information that i need to know about this and it's taken me a long time to record it as well um so yeah if you you know if you want to give me some support with that and leave a like on this video and also subscribe if you want to the channel i'm going to be starting a factions series on this channel very soon when the server resets which should hopefully be this week next week or if it's not this week or so next week then i'm gonna cry but uh yeah it should be this week and or next weekend um you know don't quote me on that but it should be those um and i'll be doing a series on either skeleton or overlord or you know if a new realm comes out i'll probably play that but um yeah please leave a like down below for <laughs> the amount of effort i put into this and if this does help you out at all that would be much appreciated and guys if you've got any comments about it if you've got anything that i did miss out in this video um please do tell me and i'll try and tell you in the comments down below and try and help you out as much as possible or i'll get into a call with you on like discord or something and basically give you an explanation in higher def uh, like in higher quality so um yeah we'll get into the video and hopefully you enjoy like i said leave a like subscribe and comment and uh yeah well, let's get to the first step so the things that we're going to be covering today for the faction psycho pvp tutorial guide list is basically going to be in order factions basics uh slash factions commands headhunting og headhunting 2.0 masks base building blood baths custom enchants hordes slash summoners and also fishing and then we'll have like others at the end if we have time i don't know if i'll add them in but um yeah others will be stuff like hoppers and things like that uh and also like lottery and things like that so if you want to stay along for that um that all that type of stuff will be in the back of the video if you want to look down in the description i'll probably add others and then i'll like write down everything that is covered in the other section so if you do need to like go and look at one of those things that is in the others um just because they're really small things and i don't want to like add a whole section to those things basically just go down in the description down below see what is in the others if it is go watch the others and then uh pretty much yeah that's pretty much all we got to do so the first thing pretty much today is going to be the faction basics and faction like commands so today i'm just going to quickly just create my own faction and i'm just going to call it cornell uh, i am actually in a faction i just left it real quick just so i can make my own because i can't actually do it because you have to be a certain rank uh like level of like mod or like owner or co-owner or like admin or something like that in your faction to be able to do f perks so pretty much when you make your own faction or if you've got uh like the uh, if you've got the access to do it in your faction if you are trusted enough to do it pretty much just do f perks and it basically brings you up with this so these are things that you can buy with faction coins and is make sure you are actually at a faction level enough to do it so for example with this you can gain one plus faction warp 
um, so unlocked for so faction level two. So you have to be a faction level of two, cost five coins, and then stuff like increase your member limit to plus ten is one million on F top value and twelve faction coins. So you're probably wondering how to get faction coins. So pretty much all you want to do is do F missions, and it pretty much just brings up missions. So you got daily missions, which basically gives you faction XP and faction coins. So basically these reset every single 24 hours once you have actually done them. So it, it starts off easy and then it goes higher and higher and higher in difficulty. So pretty much you have to break 640 logs and from that you get one faction coin, 100 XP. And then from this one you have to kill 1000 mobs manually. Mission one, so you have to do that. Three faction coins, 200 XP and then you get strength two for 10 minutes in F effect. And then kill 20 armored players uh, two faction coins and 150 XP from that and also um, unlock the mission oh wait no so you can basically unlock a different mission slot by basically spending for uh, complete 42 missions daily and also cost 25 faction coins so basically gives you an extra thing to basically earn more faction coins which you can spend on quite a lot and I'll get into that in a second so pretty much you've got to do that to basically earn faction coins which you can basically spend in F perks you can check your faction level by basically just doing slash F missions and it'll basically just say it in the middle thing on your banner. You can also customize your banner but I actually can't remember how to do it. So I'll try and find out for you guys and possibly add it into this video. If not, I'll try and tell you down in below if you want to actually freaking find out. You probably already know but uh, if you do want to find out just message me and I'll try and find out for you. And uh, yeah, so basically it just shows that I'm faction level 1. I am Somehow I'm at 4x faction XP. I don't know how I actually got to that because I literally just made this faction right now. But um, yeah, faction XP, so I need so and so how much more faction XP to get out to level 2. And then faction coins, it shows you right there, so you basically know how much you've got and how much XP you need. You can get faction XP from a lot of different things. You can get it from basically doing all these things. And then also you can get it from like killing um, like uh, other players, like enemies or something. I don't think it has to be... I think it has to be like in Warzone or like Wilderness, I think it can be anywhere, so if you kill, I think it's just an enemy or if you just kill anybody, you basically just get faction coins um, for that, um, oh no, not faction coins, you get faction XP, and you can also get faction XP from also like activating blood baths and winning blood baths, um, but I'll get into that in, a, uh, in the future when I get into like more sections of this video, um, as blood baths will be a section of this video that you can go and watch in like later on if you want. If you want to go and watch it now, you can can go in the description down below or in the comments and you basically find the timestamp for those and uh yeah that's pretty much how you do it and i think that is pretty much all you gotta really know for f missions and f perks and all of that um you can spend it on a lot more things that i will show you in the future in like other things for example like in head hunting uh, there's a few things that you can spend uh, faction coins on in like head hunting that i'll show you in a head hunting clip so uh yeah i think that's pretty much everything for factions uh, for faction basics and faction commands and stuff so uh yeah hopefully that helped you out and uh see you in the next clip so guys the next thing on the list is going to be head hunting og there is two different types of head hunting there's head hunting og and there's head hunting 2.0 which is basically only on overlord realm at the moment uh probably if they do make uh more servers in the future they'll probably be on them but for now it's basically just on overlord and every single other server to my knowledge has head hunting og it's not really called head hunting og i just call it og because it's the original one and uh yeah it's much more easier than head hunting 2.0 but i'll be getting into that in the next part but uh yeah so basically the first thing that you need to know about head hunting is basically spawners you basically just got to lock down the spawners so to go to find the spawners all you got to do is just type in chat uh, slash warp spawner shop slash space uh, warp space spawner shop and wait five seconds and it will take you to where you need to buy spawners so pretty much when you get here there is a ton of spawners on the server there's so many spawners and um yeah it basically just uh, goes from level one all the way to level 25 and pretty much on this server how it works is that you basically have to go through each level and you can only buy these spawners right here until you have bought this one and basically grinded them up and uh yeah i'll work it through right now so pretty much when you first get on the server you're gonna have to go and make your farms and basically earn your money or if you're like a rank like me uh overlord rank or even like a bandit rank you basically get kits at the start where you can basically just sell them in the shop and you can probably get around 20k 25k to basically just buy a spawner straight away but if you need to buy uh get some more money you'll have to be getting your farms up and basically making like sugarcane farms cactus farms melon farms but i'll get into that later on 
But once you've actually got 25k in your balance, you'll be able to buy the first spawner, which is pig level, uh, which is level one, and then it goes on to wolf. And then ocelot, or wolf and ocelot are actually both level two. Some people get really confused with this, basically thinking that like wolf is actually level two, and then once they've completed wolf, they actually think it's that. But that is actually the same level. That is a problem that loads of people have, where they basically buy the wolf one and then accidentally buy the ocelot one, think it's the next level, but it's actually the rabbit one. So it basically goes uh, pig wolf ocelot both level two level three rabbit level four sheep level five chicken level uh, five cow and mushroom spawner is both level five as well there's many of these when like a thing is very similar so you basically have like the cat and dog you have the two cows uh so that is level i can't remember what level it is but they are basically the same level and then next level is horse next level after that is silverfish and then basically you go down here and these are where you find the other spawners. So then you have slime, then you have endermite, you have cave spider and spider. So cave spider and spider are both the same level. And then you have squid, zombie, skeleton, guardian, magma cube. And then you come down here and these are the final ones uh, where you have the villager, ghast, zombie pigman, blaze, witch, wither skeleton, enderman, and creeper. So that is going to be the final one there. But when you actually get to level 24 um, in the creeper and you actually complete that, you basically have access to come over to here and buy this one. So this is the final one, the undead horse. But when you get to level 25 plus, you basically have the opportunity to buy things like this. So, so pretty much when you get past level 25, you can buy stuff like the uh, iron golem, which basically costs 20 faction coins, which I will show you in a second, but I'll pretty, probably just get through all of this first. So I'll get into that in a second. But basically, once you've got to level 25, which is basically past this, you can basically go to this warlock chief and it's basically a divine mission. So you basically have those missions that I showed you in the first clip with all the F missions and F perks and stuff like that. So this is basically where you spend your stuff and you can only spend the stuff on these once you actually get past level 25. So you can't get this slash fly until you get past 25. So uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of annoying, but you know, it's just, you got to do it. Um, it makes it harder as slash fly is a very OP command. So you have stuff like slash fly where you basically have to purchase 10 witcher spawners kill 1,000 ghasts, mine 10,000 blocks, make 25 player fall to their death, create an enderman, um, five mask, uh, and basically it just has a list of like the progress thing to show how well you've been doing. And yet again, you can only do this once you get past level 25. You also have stuff like slash smite, you also have um, access to zombie horse spawners. So pretty much that means that you can have access to uh, these, I believe, I think. And then uh, also you get kit hunt, uh, head hunter, then you get skeletal horse spawners and mystical charms, which is pretty sick. And also you have mystery mob mask free, which I'll get into later on when I get onto the mask ones. But you're probably wondering, how do you rank up? And I'll show you right now. So sadly, I couldn't actually buy a pig spawner because they're actually 25k. And as I was actually buying the spawners, I didn't have enough money. I had like 23k and I was looking on the AH, which you can actually go and try and find spawners and buy them for like cheaper. Uh, oh, it's actually really annoying because I actually bought a spawner for 25k, uh, an ocelot one, and there's actually a wolf spawner for 15k, so I kind of messed up there, but um, pretty much you can buy spawners for cheaper, as you can see over here, a wolf spawner is 30k, but people do tend to put them on the AH basically for cheaper, and if you're wanting to like basically filter out and find one um, like of the choice, so like say you're on pig, basically just type in pig, and it'll bring it up. And uh, there's actually, uh, these are zombie pig spawners, but you'll be able to just basically find um, pig spawners and stuff for cheap. And um, you don't normally get it at the very start of the server because everyone needs the spawners uh, for like money making and also like leveling up and stuff. But especially like as the weeks go by, you can pretty much get it uh, if you are a new player. So these things are actually going to be quite hard to show you as I am actually level six. So it's going to be hard to actually show you it live and actually demonstrate it to you guys. Uh, it's going to be the case with a lot of things because I don't I haven't played this map. Uh, so I haven't got a lot of money in my bank. So I'm not be able to actually I'm not able to buy a lot of these things to actually show it to you. But I'll try and explain it as much as possible. And uh, yeah, so pretty much I bought a spawner earlier on. and I put it in my thing. So I've got an ocelot spawner. So I'm level two. Um, let's just say I am level one, uh, gone up to level two, but let's just pretend this is a pig spawner. And, uh, yeah, so we'll go to my home test, which is literally in the wilderness. And, um, yeah, you just get a place with nice lightness. I think it's actually dark right now, so I don't know if these will actually spawn, but pretty much put it on, uh, grass as these side of the spawners grow on grass. As you go into like spawners, like skeleton spawners and like mobs and stuff like, uh, hostile mobs, you will need to place it on gla uh, grass. But for mobs like um, like cows and pigs and stuff like that, you'll be able to have to place them down on that. 
so uh wait wait <laughs> there we go <laughs> wait it doesn't bug out normally but pretty much you have these that spawn so let me quickly just get my sword out as well and uh, show you what happens here let me just feed myself real quick but uh yeah so you get these ocelot spawners and uh as much as more you get it will probably spawn more um it will actually definitely spawn more but the way you actually put them in you don't have to place them all around pretty much you don't have to place like a ton of ocelot spawners around on the server you can actually basically um click so when you get another spawner shift click and basically place it on the spawner and it'll basically put the spawners inside of each other basically just make it uh, way nice and easier and basically just makes it so it's more compact and you don't have loads more spawners basically just scattered all over the place this is the situation with most of spawners i think it's every single spawner works like this and you can fit 50 spawners in each one so once you get to 50 you have to make a new one but um you know who's gonna have 50 ocelot spawners eh you don't really need it to check what level you are actually on for the spawners all you got to do is basically just put slash level in chat it will basically just give you some information on how much it will cost to basically rank up and how many heads uh, to rank up you need to actually rank up so for right now i'm pretty much past halfway i need 1116 more heads to rank up to the next level right now i'm on cow slash mushroom heads and i'm currently level six so it basically just shows you that and every single time you do rank up it does cost a bit of money so you're gonna have to be making a farm at the same time as this or uh, just depending on selling your just your heads that you get but i really recommend making a farm as well just to make some extra co uh, cash because um yeah you'll definitely need a lot of money and the money goes pretty high when you get to the high rank spawners so uh, definitely try and make as much money as possible because you will need it for when you do rank up because it does go up to like i think it goes up to like a million at one point when you get to really high numbers but um yeah you're gonna need a lot of money but don't worry guys you will be ranking up and it does give you a lot of good things in the future so once you've got them spawning i've got four ocelots now uh you can probably you can obviously just like afk and just wait for them to like come across or you can just kill them straight away so pretty much you just kill it and um yeah this is kind of sad because i love cats but uh yeah you just kill them i'm sorry if you can hear my clicking and as you kill them you pretty much get their heads and they sell for head price level um you get head price which is one dollar so pretty much every single head you sell uh, let's say I got a stack and I sold that, uh, it would be $64. So, you know, you're getting a little bit of money and also you're ranking up. So pretty much all you got to do is just right click and it basically just sells it. Right now you won't be able to see my XP bar going up because I am level 6. And pretty much guys, you can only get leveled up in your XP bar. Um, as I'll show you right now with a freaking point a little arrow or something. You can only level up if you are selling the heads that you are level on. So pretty much, let's say I'm on level 6 as I am now. If I sell anything below level six, I won't be able to actually get the levels for it. And if I have, if I find heads, so let's say I'm raiding a base and I find loads of zombie heads, even though I'm level six and I can't, and I'm not on level, um, level whatever level zombie is, I won't be able to basically sell the zombie heads until I am at that level. So pretty much watch out if you are going to a base and you'll be like, oh yeah, I found zombie heads. I will be able to uh, sell them. You can take them, save them for later, but you won't be able to sell them. So uh, just warning you there, you can only sell heads that you have got up to and the ones below, but you can only actually get XP uh, for the heads that are actually on your level. And also when you get to like a certain level, I think it's like level three or level four in the uh, spawners, you actually get rewards. You actually get crate keys per time you rank up. So you do get some uh, like low end uh, crate keys when you do rank up, which is pretty good. So uh, yeah, if, if you like opening up crate keys and you want to get free crate keys, basically just grind up, kill a ton of these mobs and basically just rank up to like past level three or something. And you'll be able to like get yourself some nice little crate keys. They're not the best, but they are some good and you can get quite lucky and get some decent stuff in them. And another thing guys, once you have leveled up all the way to the top and you need money for your actual next rank, I recommend just selling your spawners, especially spawners like Ocelot and things like that, especially with like the heads that you don't really need anymore. If you've got like chicken spawners and you're at the chicken level or even cows when like cows can make you good money with like selling steak and also chickens can give you a lot of money from also making like chicken masks that i will get into very soon um i'd pretty much recommend just like keeping the main spawners but if you are on like level like one or level two or level three with these like uh really bad spawners once you have finished using them and you are able to rank up to get some easy cash just ah them onto the 
um, onto the AH by basically just doing orc hand with the spawner in your hand and for how much you want to do it because people will snatch them up if you do them for cheaper and uh, you know you don't need them anymore might as well just sell them get some cheeky money to basically get up to the next level and spend it on the new spawners just a little bit of a tip guys and a warning before you actually go to your next level to find a spawner to actually go and um like for example if i am uh, cow rank and i actually level up to the next one and i'm going to buy a horse uh, um spawner basically i would really recommend going on the ah because people are putting up spawners all the time when they don't need them and basically just type in the spawner of what you need and looky there there's a horse spawner right there for 550k little bit overpriced when i mean overpriced i mean way overpriced but if you just keep on looking you can find some nice little horse spawners for pretty much cheaper because that is 80k you probably find some on the server uh pretty early on because horses aren't really needed that much i don't think um actually no that is a lie horse masks are very very good which i will get into very very soon when we get to the masks part of the section so um yeah um you know you can basically just look on the ah try and find a spawner for cheaper than 80k just to save you a little bit of money even if it's like a couple k cheaper you know every penny counts on the server so uh yeah definitely look out for that and also another thing guys especially with the start of the server when you don't need many heads to rank up because i don't know how many heads you need like pig heads you need to rank up sometimes it can actually be cheaper or literally just a little bit over to actually just go on the ah and type in pig and pretty much as well looking for the pig heads because right here you can basically buy it for 148 per head but uh, sometimes you can get it really really cheap and pretty much uh, you'll be able to buy enough heads to rank up for pretty much the same price as it will buy uh, to buy a spawner or a little bit over but to be fair if you're spending a few extra k to basically um you know get an easy uh, rank up i would recommend doing that because the amount of time it takes to kill all those spawners especially at the beginning it might as well just buy enough heads on the ah to basically rank up to the next one that's when you can do it so that's pretty much just a little tip that you can do especially at the start of the server this is the final tip for you guys uh to end off the head hunting og section of the video uh, so yeah, pretty much when you are making a uh, grinder or you're grinding up these heads and you might not want to be freaking just sitting there for ages just hitting them if you are high rank or if you do have access to a uh, to a fire aspect sword or even like a flint and steel or something, what you can do is basically just to save you some time of just basically hitting them, uh, you can basically just get a bunch of the mobs. I really recommend doing this when you've got like at least like five spawners or something. You can do it less. But it basically just means you have to keep on going back and hitting them when they like die because like death will catch up to them um but pretty much you can just sit there and just have the spawners and then basically just sit by the spawner uh by the mob where it's basically spawned in i can't actually show you right now because i a i don't have a fire spec sword and i accidentally just broke my spawner thinking that i could just do it without silk touch which is kind of awkward um make sure you don't do the same mistake i did but pretty much um you just get your spawner down say the mob is right here this this mob is basically the redstone basically hit the mob with the fire aspect sword when they're on fire they'll basically continuously to be on fire forever just stand next to the mob uh like try and corner it maybe get in a hole or something or maybe even get a hopper below it and it will basically burn and die continuously and uh pretty much it just acts as like kind of like an easy mob hopper um and if you don't know what a mob hopper is we'll basically get into that very soon but you can pretty much just get a hopper um, and do that instead. Yeah, it's not automatic, but you know it's it's easier than just sitting there and just fighting and just killing these mobs for freaking hours and hours and hours on end. So uh, yeah, a little bit of a tip there. I know I'm stupid, guys. Um, this is actually the final thing. I actually completely forgot to actually add this in from the first clip. But pretty much, uh, the thing that I mentioned on before, when you actually get to like the Iron Golem part, when you get to level 25 plus. Uh, the place where you basically go to actually get that, I don't know if you have to be level 25 plus to actually buy all these, but pretty much you have to go to the faction merchant, which is literally basically just when you spawn in from spawn, just turn right and you're basically over here. This is a really weird uh, position, so most people might get a little bit confused when you're especially new to the server. So pretty much you just click on this and you can buy a ton of stuff for faction coins. I don't know if you have to be level 25 to actually buy this type of stuff um but yeah right here you can be oh wait yeah required level 25 to actually buy the iron golem spawner but for the rest i bet you're just meant to just you, you can just be any level pretty much because these are just all portions um which is pretty much really cool uh you can also buy like head hunting boosters and faction xp and yeah pretty much stuff like that so uh yeah that's pretty much where it is that's where you buy iron golem spawners i know it's kind of a weird position but uh yeah that's where it is for you guys
So guys, the next part of this video is basically going to be the headhunting 2.0 on the Overlord realm. So pretty much as you see here, on every single other realm, it's basically just headhunting factions, just the original one. Uh, you can tell by this, by basically it just says hunt, headhunting factions. But on Overlord, which is a newer server, it basically says headhunting factions 2.0. So if you do want this um, factions headhunting 2.0 from when I've basically, after I've explained it all to you, basically try to sell it to you um if you decide that you want to do the uh headhunting factions 2.0 compared to the headhunting uh original you can basically just go on overall which is the only server at the moment for this i don't know if any of these are going to be um brought into it it's really hard because you can't really change these because people have bought ranks on these and they're kind of like the og servers so i don't think they're going to be added into these but you know i'm not the owner i don't know i don't make the rules but um yeah they'll probably be on this server only until they make new realms which i don't know if they'll be making new realms um i don't know if they're going to be making any new realms like anytime soon or anything or even ever um but yeah i don't even know if they're going to be on those new realms when they do make new realms if they do make new realms i think i've said new realms way too many times but pretty much guys headhunting 2.0 isn't actually that much different there isn't much to go into headhunting 2.0 um as you know it's pretty much the same as factions uh headhunting factions the original one um i'm just gonna go through just the little changes to it that basically makes it the 2.0 basically the new edition which basically just makes it a lot harder so if you're wanting to like have a lot more chill like kind of like afking um and like not using kill or like freaking mob or anything like that uh, you'll basically just want to go on uh, the original one from the one that I basically just showed you because you basically just like AFK heads there. On this one, it's a lot more harder because you actually have to kill the mobs yourself. So pretty much on this one, it's the same leveling system. It's the same ranking system, like the same spawner system as the headhunting factions OG. But on this one, instead of actually selling heads and buying heads and stuff like that, you could pretty much have to kill the mobs. So there's no more like getting help from other faction members basically just saving up your heads getting heads raiding heads from other freaking factions it's basically just got to do it all yourself yeah you can raid spawners from other factions but this time you actually have to kill the mobs yourself so if you want to grind and you want to actually have a bit more of a challenge um but it takes a lot more time basically just go into this one because you have to kill them instead of actually selling the heads uh so yeah pretty much just shows you in this so i'm actually level one so it's actually perfect to actually show you but as you see i'm actually gonna just bring up my chat a little bit quite a lot as you see here level one i do actually have cow mushroom and pig available mobs um but i'll get into the cow mushroom very soon because there's actually a little bit of a different uh thing with those two uh, and also like ones like skeleton and zombies and pigmen and blazers so i'll get into that in a second but pretty much i am level one which is pig so pretty much i got to kill 256 xp so xp is basically the equivalent of one kill so as you kill one mob it'll basically go down to 255 so uh yeah and also here you get horde mobs which i will get into in the in like another clip but pretty much you got to basically kill horde mobs but um if you want to learn more about uh, hordes after this basically just go to the section of this whole video where there is hordes and if just go down below in the description if you want to learn about it now and come back basically just go in the description go to the time frame of when i talk about hordes and then come back or you can just wait until after and then level up cost is twenty thousand coins uh twenty thousand like pounds whatever you want to call it basically to rank up to the next one which it does cost to go up to there as you see 256 more kills to actually get up to the uh, next level so uh yeah and i believe on this server as well as you level up you do get crate keys as you level up so once you get past level like three or something like that you pretty much will get uh some extras and you'll get some crate keys which aren't the greatest key uh crate keys i think you get stuff like ancient charms and uh like i think the best one you get is probably the, like the necrotic chest i believe but you don't get like enchanted mythical or even festive i think you just get the ancient and the uh necrotic as well so that's pretty much all you get so uh, you know it's all right it gives you a bit more of a motive to actually rank up and stuff like that but um yeah that's pretty much it for the headhunting 2.0 for now so pretty much on overlord this is only on overlord right now it's not on skeleton or anything like that it's basically just on overlord you have a little bit of a different of a bit of a tweak with the spawners on this server so as you see in when you do slash level you pretty much see it is pig and cow and mushroom so you're probably wondering what is going on with the cow and mushroom why are they so low the reason of that is basically even when you are at level one you can buy these ones so there's money mob and soul mobs pretty much 
when you get the money mob it's basically just a mob that basically gives you money when you kill them and the soul mob basically gives you souls when you kill them so you're probably wondering what souls are i'll get into them in a second so pretty much as you kill a mushroom for example if you want to get souls it will give you four souls per kill and um, also the cow it will give you 40 uh, per head uh, i think it drops heads on this server just for the cows so you sell them for 40 which is pretty good actually to be fair you can make a pretty nice afk like um like cow grinder which is pretty sick so that's pretty good for the uh, lowest level and you can pretty much buy that even if you're at level one so that's pretty much sick um and also it's the same uh obviously the mushroom and cow isn't there so it will basically just be level one level two level three level four level five and there's not actually ocelot or wolves actually so it's a little bit of a tweak but yeah it's basically level one level two level three level four level five and then when you get down here it's basically the same again so it basically starts oh it's actually wolf and ocelot down here as well uh so they're actually a little bit further down um but basically when you get to level six which is here which is i'm guessing is wolf and ocelot which is both level six you can pretty much buy these ones so this is the money mob and soul mob pretty much the same as those but pretty much you get an extra amount of souls so over there it was four uh, sol uh, souls for each kill and now you get eight souls for each kill with the zombie spawner and also 80 dollars for each kill with the skeleton spawner so that's pretty much how it works same ranking system um you can pretty much learn how to do it and then the case fire and the spiders i believe are the same level as well same as the other one and then when you get down here this is where you get a lot of your money so uh yeah pretty much levels 11 to 15 money spawner is the pig spawner uh pigman spawner so that's where you get your money from you have to be level 15 to get that so i'm guessing on this server on this realm the max level is actually level 15 which is actually a lot smaller i'm guessing it's a lot smaller because you have to actually kill them instead of afking like getting heads and stuff so it's a lot harder so i'm actually that's kind of cool actually i didn't realize that i thought it was exactly the same as the other one uh, and then also you get souls which actually gives you 12 per kill which is pretty sick for player spawners uh, and also the zombie pigment gives you 175 per head which is absolutely insane and then you have the auto spawner creeper which basically drops gunpowder which is good for tnt so if you want to make a massive tnt farm you can pretty much buy a ton of creeper spawners and they'll basically drop uh like gunpowder and you can basically make tnt out of that so that's pretty much everything oh if you've got any questions about head hunting 2.0 and you need any questions asked pretty much just answer uh ask <laughs> if you need any questions answered pretty much just question down below in the comments and uh or just hit me a dm in discord the discord link will be down below as well if you want to get in like a high like in-depth conversation with me or you know just go on the server and just ask a like a staff member they're very helpful on the server honestly one of the best staff teams i've ever seen on like any faction server they actually do a really good job um yeah i'm not just saying that because it's my bud uh but yeah if you want to ask any staff members they're down to help all the time and uh yeah if you want to ask me i am very helpful as well so uh yeah thank you very much so the fourth thing on this server that i'm going to be getting into is going to be mass so mass is basically a really really cool plugging add-in um onto this server and i don't think it's on any other server it's very unique and it's very different and it's so so cool but it can be confusing to people that are new to the server that have no idea how to use it how to get them and uh yeah pretty much what they do because honestly i have no idea what uh, most of them do but luckily there is a amazing cauldron which basically tells you what every single one does right at your fingertips you're probably wondering straight away how do you get these masks that i talk about so pretty much i'll show you the mask before and show you what they actually do before i actually actually show you how to actually get them so pretty much at spawn or you can go into the wilderness and pretty much just buy a cauldron or i think you can make a cauldron or just buy a cauldron in the shop i think if you go to the misc uh merchant in slash warp shop you pretty much can buy a cauldron or you can basically just come to spawn you can have one in your base or you can come to spawn and pretty much just right click on this and it basically just shows you all these different types of masks so you're probably wondering what these masks do and what is the point of actually having masks so as you see under each mask there is basically a heads harvested and for me there is all of them are zero uh apart from chicken actually i've got like 2666 on that because like ages ago i was trying to do them but pretty much so as you do this they basically uh head harvest basically just like bulk up until you get tons and tons and tons so once you've got a ton of like chicken masks i mean 
chicken heads or like whatever head you want to do into this you can basically just click on it so for example we're just going chicken because i've got loads of heads in there uh i do i do actually have enough to actually get this one so i'll be able to actually do a little bit of an example so uh yeah so pretty much if you've got 2304 heads of each one it's actually the same for each one so if you're going to here it will be actually it's only 480 pig heads so it'll basically see how many heads you need per mask so as you go up it'll be 920 1152 4608 no, uh, 6912 and so on and so forth and it'll be different to all these other ones because i feel like these yeah these will be way more higher because these are better masks so pretty much we'll go into the chicken one and we'll just get one so pretty much once you've got enough heads as you can see on here i've got 200,666 and all i need is 2304 so i have enough so i'm going to click on that get a chicken mask and as you see i've got a chicken one mask in my inventory right now i can wear it on my head or i can hold it it doesn't really matter i think if you i think it's just with a chicken head or with every single one um i think it doesn't matter but you can either hold it or wear it uh, and it will do the same thing um so like for example chicken masks basically as you can go in here and see for yourself if you uh, left click in uh, no if you right click instead of actually right cl uh, left clicking you could basically click on it and it basically shows you the effects for each one so basically chicken mask one chance to not take full damage uh, and then basically chicken two mask higher chance to not take full damage higher chance to not take full damage and basically as you go higher up it basically um goes higher and higher for your chance of not basically taking full damage which is pretty sick it is very useful if you are in combat and you fall down into a trap or anything just get your chicken mask out if you've got like one up to like uh chicken mask four you have a higher chance but if you have the chicken five mask which is freaking insane you're basically immune to full damage no matter what you won't die you cannot die from getting full damage pretty much if you are in a freaking fight with someone and you want to get away uh or if you're like you're doing base building and you accidentally fall off your base it is very useful have a chicken mask as you basically don't take any full damage which is very very useful but all these different masks actually do their own thing so for example let's just click on spider basically it says chance to give an enemy slowness and then basically as you go up it gives you better things uh chance to freeze an enemy in place chance to give an enemy slowness too chance to give a minor fatigue and you are immune to slowness and it basically just gets better and better and better but it is very expensive to actually get these as you know uh, especially at the beginning for chicken like you need to actually like have them to level up your heads for the head hunting which we've gotten into before uh but once you've actually got past chicken heads you don't need them for leveling up you can definitely use them for these um as chicken net masks and stuff like that the main masks which are probably the best that i know of that you should be getting are chicken masks horse masks as horse gives you speed as you see it gives you permanent speed too uh, i mean three but uh, uh early stages you get like speed one speed two and then finally speed three which is pretty good and then there's also like iron golem one which basically gives you extra hearts and then you have uh creeper one which is basically there's a chance to deal one and a half hearts to your enemy to take one and then you have stuff like blazers which basically shooting a bow it basically just gives you tons of things you can look through that by yourself and basically just basically have a look for it and um see which type of one you want some will be harder to get than others some will be easier to get than others it's basically just how it works but one thing you've got to make sure you have actually got you can't go straight to a chicken five mask so for example it says here twenty three thousand and forty chicken heads that doesn't mean if you put twenty three thousand and forty chicken heads in but you haven't even got this one you need that one so pretty much it's basically just adding on so you need two thousand three hundred four once you've done that it takes it all away and then you need to restart again get that and you've got to have the chicken one mask with you and then for this one you need the chicken two mask with you plus 6912 new chicken heads because it does go out of your chicken uh like masks it does go out of your chicken heads because it will reset as you see before mine has like it had like 2666 now it has 362 because i did spend those heads so you've got to be wary of that you have to have the chicken mask before um like the one you want so to get the chicken five mask i would have to have the chicken uh four mask and uh no i'd have to have the chicken three mask wait what <laughs> we know yeah i'd have to have the chicken four mask to get the chicken five mask and so on and so forth so that's pretty much how that works and you're probably wondering how to put these heads into the cauldron pretty much it's really simple just get your head 
and basically just right click onto the cauldron and it deposits it into the cauldron and as you see if i go to my oscillator it basically says six harvested heads so that's pretty much how it works that's all you pretty much got to know about masks they are very very cool and they're very very good if you can use them correctly um but do be cautious if you are in like pvp and you do have a speed um like if you do have like a speed free like head on like a horse head on uh, you know, it doesn't count actually as an extra piece of armor. You can be lucky though and can get masks that actually have protection on them and other enchants like protection and fire protection and fall damage and stuff. Uh, so you can get those, but it you have to have a bit of luck to get them. But if you do get like a prop 5 chicken mask or a prop 5 like horse mask, they are super rare and you can sell them for a lot of money as well. All right guys, so the next part in this video of different sections is basically gonna be base building. I'm not gonna show you how to build massive bases and stuff. I'm not gonna show you how to like gen walls or anything like that. It's basically just gonna show you the extra things on this server, which basically makes it easier for you guys to actually gen walls and things like that. So if you do want me to actually do another video basically explaining how to like properly, you know, gen walls and stuff and like make bases and things. I'm not an expert on all of that jazz, but, um. You know, I know how to gen some walls and stuff, and like, I can show you how to make like a simple base and stuff. But um, you know, I, I think there's better like tutorials out there, uh, so you can go and watch them. Um, but I'm basically just showing you how to use the things on Psycho PvP. So the things on Psycho PvP that they do have that are very custom is basically Infinity buckets and uh, Mutation buckets and also Infused buckets. So pretty much the Infused bucket basically works as a cobblestone wall. So I'll pretty much show you in a second, but uh, before we get into that, I'll show you what these do. So you can basically buy these at the warp shop in the base building merchant. You basically build, uh, buy these things called Corrupted Essences and Scorching Essence. So pretty much what you, they do, they basically just say it down below, destroys logs and leaves for the Scorching Essence, and then Corrupted Essence destroys grass, flowers, and bushes. So I've been testing it out already because I've actually never used one of these before, but I knew what, what they do. And it's actually amazing. It's actually really, really cool. So for example, let's get the logs and leaves one, which is the Scorching Essence. And this is really good for when you're wanting to like clear out a lot of space basically when you're wanting to like build a base and you're wanting to like clear all the trees so you can like just like dig out dirt and that to basically make your base nice and flat for when you like need a trench and stuff so pretty much all you gotta do find a tree that you want to destroy and click it pretty much that way you know click the log that's it <laughs> click the log and it basically destroys it very simple and it's very efficient it basically gets rid of uh, it gets rid of the tree and i think it gets rid of a bit of the tree next to it but uh, yeah, I think it basically just gets rid of one tree and also the bushes that are like basically added onto it. So that's pretty much how it works. And then Corrupted Essence, this is how it works. You basically just find a bush or a flower or anything like that and basically just click on it and it clears it for a long way actually. Like I didn't realize how long, like how far this actually goes. Like let's, let's just give a little bit more of an example. So let's go over here. There's quite a lot of bushes like all the way down there. If I click it here, it basically destroys it all the way up there so it's a massive radius for these ones because bushes are quite big uh so you basically just keep on clicking and it basically just clears it out very very useful so if you are wanting to make a massive area for your base and you want to like trench and make it easier and get rid of all this grass without freaking having to go uh, break every single piece of grass and stuff basically just go and just get one of these uh, or a couple of these and just clear it out very very easily so usually on factions you would basically have to basically gen walls by basically putting down loads of lava and then putting a water bucket on top basically genning walls like that which is really really slow and really really bad and it also is very very laggy um so pretty much they've added in a thing with infused buckets which basically just makes it a ton more easier and instead of making this massive thing all you got to do now is i would suggest so like if you're wanting to make it so there's a cobblestone wall on this side and then a cobblestone wall on that side what you'd have to do is basically place the blocks in the like in between because that is where it's going to basically be the center this is all going to be hollow there's going to be walls on that side and walls on that side so it will break these parts right here that's going to be kind of awkward we'll get rid of that uh so you basically just get rid of these and place the buckets on top of here and then there'll be cobblestone spawning on that side and cobblestone going on that side so i'll quickly show you right now
you can only do it in faction clayman which i just realized so let's just uh let's just put it on auto so we'll just claim this chunk right here and you basically just click it down and it basically just gens it like that which is super awesome it basically just makes you an instant wall pretty much and then if you want to carry it on all you got to do is just do this like so very easy and it basically just gens cobblestone walls very nicely and it's quite cheap as well I think it's like uh, I don't know actually know how much it is, but also you can get these infinity buckets, which is easy. But you can also get these infinity buckets, which is basically the same as this, but it's basically instead of having to go and buy tons and tons and tons, of basically filling up your inventory, you can buy one of these for I think it's about fifteen k or twenty k, and it basically just acts as one of these, uh, but just continuously, and it basically takes twenty five dollars out of your in uh, out of your balance per time you use it so for example let's just go and add on to this real quick and um yeah we'll just we'll just add on to this real quick and i've got a freaking claim wait have i claimed this uh claim auto wait no there we go okay wait is this mine is this my is, is this my land i hope so um so yeah we'll basically just use this and it basically just gens it like so as well and it just doesn't it doesn't lose your bucket you basically keep your bucket and every single time you click it it basically takes money out of your balance as you can see on my right hand side it's been taking money out of my balance every single time i click on it and it takes 25 dollars out of each one it's not that expensive so um don't you guys worry and then the last thing that you can get is basically a mutation bucket so mutation buckets pretty much work as like obsidian so basically you can just grab your obsidian click it on the mutation bucket basically just get your obsidian place it on the mutation uh, mutation bucket and it basically stores obsidian inside the mutation bucket so you're wondering you're probably wondering now what can i do with this what is the point of it and stuff like that let me just make a little bit of like a water source so i can actually just jump down very very nicely uh, oh no i'm gonna die Okay, I died, but thank God I've actually got a set home here, and uh, let's go and grab all this stuff. Okay, thankfully we actually got rid of all of our stuff, and uh, also, by the way, thing I haven't actually know, um, told you guys in this, this is probably the wrong section to actually t uh, talk to you guys about this, but pretty much when you die or when you get killed in the wilderness you drop your head and if you're wondering what that does basically it says here worthless because i've only got 104 uh dollars pretty much if you let's say you kill someone who has like a million dollars you get 25 percent of that so you'll get 250 uh k from that guy i think it's 25 percent. i think it's 25 percent, or it's something like that i think it's like 20 25 percent, or something like that so you'll basically get 25 percent of their balance so um yeah if, if you kill someone make sure you get their head and check their balance if it's worthless you'll get like i think it's like a few like hundred like dollars or something but if you find someone that has like you can, you can find stuff like up with this like up to like a million which is actually insane so it's just easy money for basically killing people so try not lose your head if you die in the wilderness go and pick up your head because someone could literally come across and pick it up and easily get a nice little few hundred k so now with the mutation bucket all you got to do is basically just find a block that you want to change into obsidian and just click and it basically just turns into obsidian simple as it takes away the obsidian in so it started off at 64 now it's 63 if i do it again it will go down to 62 simple as that this is basically useful for when people basically gen their bases into cobblestone straight away basically just make their base already so because mostly at the start of the season you can't actually raid bases already and you don't have enough obsidian to actually finish off your whole base so people tend to just make massive cobblestone bases uh and then just basically replace it with obsidian after time uh because for the first like week or so um it's actually a thing where you can't actually raid people like tnt doesn't work group breaks don't work so i think it's for like first week or a few days or something you can't raid each other so people basically make these cobblestone bases out of like what they're going to make for obsidian and then they get these and basically change all the blocks on their base into obsidian and uh, it just makes it a lot more easier to do so um yeah that's pretty much all it there's one more thing guys but i can't actually buy it because it is 100k per one uh, i've been asking around like my faction members to, if they can give me one 
but um, they haven't got any spares to actually give me to show you. So I'll just pretend that <laughs> the Annihilation Beacon is just this one piece of Neverack. And pretty much you go to the shop. I'll show you right after this where you go to buy it if you guys are a bit confused by that. So pretty much all you got to do is get your Annihilation Core. They are 100k each, so make sure you use it wisely. So um, it basically just makes it easier for trenching, um, like digging out massive bases and stuff so pretty much all you gotta do is go and click your annihilation um beacon it's in the shape of a beacon you just basically just click on the floor and it will basically mine out a like instantly get rid of a 16 by 16 i believe like a like a chunk one chunk and basically just gets rid of a chunk of that i think it just basically does it below i don't know if it does it above as well so whatever you place it on it will get rid of everything below i'm not sure if it gets rid of everything uh above as well uh it could actually i think it might but don't don't quote me on that but um yeah just make sure you are safe with them because literally it doesn't matter it will destroy obsidian it will destroy everything so make sure you are careful where you do place them so if you're wanting to get any of this stuff like Scorching Essence, uh, Mutation Buckets, Infused Buckets, Infinity Buckets, or Corrupted Essences, or Annihilation Course, all you got to do is just go to Warp Shop and go to Base Merchant. And you can buy all this stuff here. You can also buy stuff like Super Sponge, but I didn't really want to like show you how to do that because it's basically just it's basically just a sponge, but with just a bigger radius. Um, so yeah, you buy it here. So you get Infused Buckets, Mutation Buckets, Infinity Buckets, Scorching Essence, and Corrupted Essence. And this is what the Annihilation Core looks like. So if you want to get an Annihilation Core, it basically does that and it removes all blocks only removes blocks from the Y level it is placed on or below so it basically destroys it from the Y level you destroy it on and below like I said and can only be placed one time and trenching TNT which is basically just TNT which increased the blast radius and doesn't interact with other TNT so you basically use that for like trenching out if you want to do like a cheaper version of the annihilation core but it takes a long more time so guys the next part of this video is going to be basically going to be the blood baths slash coughs i don't know if i'm going to put in the coughs part but uh yeah i'm definitely going to show you what blood baths are because they're a big thing to the server and they're an easy way to get rewards uh through pvp and things like that so pretty much the way to get blood baths and things like that is basically going to warp pvp so all you gotta do is just type in to chat warp pvp i'm already warp pvp so i'm not gonna go there so this is pretty much warp pvp um looks quite nice you know it, it looks pretty good so pretty much you're gonna want to be geared or you know some people do go in viz um you know when they go to the blood bath because you know it's easy but you can easily get killed by these people uh, as people can see particles and they can see your footsteps and stuff like that so people do look out for that quite a lot especially at blood baths so i don't really recommend that um i recommend you know going in full gear go fully geared out and uh probably go with some teammates as well if you are not in a big faction or if you don't have any like friends on this server then you know you're gonna have to go with yourself or go with some allies or something um or you know go with your team members because it is very very hard to actually do it uh especially if you go by yourself and if you're very under geared because you'll literally get quick drops by some of these people that have like p4 p5 and amazing swords so pretty much all you got to do is go down here with your um with you know with your armor and i think there's only one place where it spawns i, I i've heard other things about like them spawning in other places but i feel like the main place where it spawn and the only place where it spawns it's basically down here so every single uh like every single i don't know how often it is but every single now and then uh there'll be like an announcement in chat or it'll be like just here or you can just keep on checking and there'll be like a chest or like ender chest right here on top of here and you basically click it and it will activate a thing where pretty much nobody can go to warp pvp in that time i believe so after it's been activated after a certain amount of time when there's like you know a certain amount of time left you can't do slash warp pvp so people can't so it, it's really good because then that basically means people can't like just see in chat that it's oh it's like 30 seconds away i'm gonna come in fresh gear and i'm like i'm not gonna fight anybody and then i'm just gonna come in like and i'm basically just gonna clean up everyone and just get the final like kill or i'm gonna get it and stuff like that so so once it actually does say it's activated basically it has like a timer on this chest above it and it basically has a timer and when it gets down to zero it will basically mean that you can uh, right click on it and basically if you right click on it and you're the first person to right click on it you will get a reward uh, i think you can get stuff like faction xp you can get crate keys you can get stuff like that so um yeah it's, it's very good if you can actually get them and um yeah you, you know you can get you can get crate keys and you get faction xp so it's really really good um definitely if you are really good at pvp or if you're like in a big team you can pretty much get this every single time i think it's like every single like couple of hours or even like every single like five hours or so 
I don't know how often they actually are. Um, so yeah, you pretty much just go in there. It'll basically tell you in chat when it actually is going on. And I'll get there sooner rather than later because if you are there too late, basically you won't be able to go there because what PPP is actually locked and you can't actually go to what PPP basically because it just prevents people from going and pick, uh, like picking up like last kills when they're like fully geared and people have got like broken armor from being PPP for so long. Um, so yeah, it's a really good thing and that's basically how it works. And now I'm going to go and show you how to go and find the coughs. So also, by the way, you can also, I'll just wait until I get to spawn to show you this. But when you're actually looking at blood baths, you can literally just type in chat slash blood, uh, blood baths, uh, blood bath, and it'll basically say it was one hour and seven minutes ago. So it's pretty much a timer. You can pretty much just like figure out how often they are. And if you see if it was like two hours ago and it's like every single two and a half hours or three hours, you can basically see when it's next going to be. So you can like kind of, uh, you know, see it. I don't know if that's just a rank thing because obviously I'm the highest rank on the server. So I don't know if that's a rank thing. Um, if you want to come on and you are like a member rank or like even just like adventurer, um, you can come on and check as well and uh, see for yourself. So guys, getting his coughs, pretty much when you go down to spawn, spawn actually looks really weird from out of the bottom, but uh, pretty much this is one of the cough things, um, they are pretty much every single day, I think they're once a day, apart from Wednesdays I believe, and Saturdays and Sundays, I think they're only on those days, I think, um, I think if you do slash cough uh, in chat, it basically shows you that it's on Monday at 12 o'clock, Tuesday at 1 o'clock, Wednesday, um, at seven o'clock and then Thursday three o'clock and then Friday at nine o'clock. I don't know if it was a GMT times or anything. Oh uh, no, it's actually EST. So um yeah, those are the times of the coughs. Uh, basically, you have to catch your time for ten minutes. So if you don't know what coughs are, it's pretty much a thing here where there, there's either the one here, which is in like the spawn, which is called the fortress. And then you have the one in the end, and I want to show you the M1. Basically, if you just go to warp end, it basically these are the corners. It's five Z by um. Oh wait, no, it's five X by minus uh, one hundred twenty Z. So that's pretty much where the corners are. This is where this one is. It basically says it right here, so you can see where the cords are. If you do get a little bit confused, and pretty much you would want to go to this with as many friends as you can, or as many team members as you can, basically to try and win this. Um, you know, as as quickly as possible, because pretty much what you got to basically do is try and stay. On this green glass as much as possible um, and as soon as you stand on this glass for a 10 minutes altogether you basically win a prize and I think it's basically the top five or top three people that stand on it for the longest get prizes as well so even if you don't win the whole thing I think you still win prizes like uh, even if you come like second third or fifth um, but obviously if you get first place you will basically win and also if you have loads of like faction team members like all of you can get a prize which is pretty sick so um, yeah I wouldn't give up if you aren't winning you know, stay on it, try and PvP as much as possible and try and stay on there. And I would definitely come as geared as possible because if you're not geared, you're basically going to get quick dropped and there's no point. You'll just lose a ton of stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much blood baths and coughs. So, guys, you'll see on some of these realms where it basically says custom enchants. You have it on like Guardian, uh, Guardian and Witch and Overlord. I think this is the only service that I actually have custom enchants on. So, I'm just going to go on Overlord for now because it has custom enchants. But you can also go on Guardian and Witch if you are interested in uh, custom enchants so pretty much what custom enchants are it's basically enchantments like away from like the ones like prop 4 um like protection 4 like feather falling things like that it's basically just custom enchants and the way you go and get custom enchants i'll actually explain that after i'll explain how to actually get souls so the main thing of actually getting custom enchants you need souls so the way you get souls about basically killing these so when you're level one um i think you've already watched the headhunting 2.0 section of this video if you haven't go to section three i believe of the video or go down below um go where it says headhunting 2.0 um and basically just click on the time frame for that watch that and i'll basically explain how you get souls so just a little bit of a brief you pretty much just buy this soul thing if you are level one or like level one to level six i believe if you're level one to level five uh, or if you just want to get a cheap spawner you can basically buy a mushroom spawner not the cow spawner the mushroom spawner which is basically a soul mob and basically if you kill these mobs you get four souls per mob and as you go down you will be able to get the zombie one which is another soul mob but it's the extra one which you can get at level six uh above level six and like more of the level six uh basically gives you eight souls per one and then down here you have blazes which basically gives you um a mighty uh 12 souls per kill so it's pretty pretty good um that's basically how you get souls i don't think there's any other way of getting souls but th the difference between headhunting 2.0 so like on these ones 
Um, and the ones that are on, like, uh, for example, if they are on Skeleton with, like, original um, headhunting, you can only get headhunting uh, souls from, like, Skeleton headhunting original. If you are past level 25, obviously you can get souls uh, at any level on this server as long as you have the mushroom or zombie or blaze spawners. And that's the only way you can get souls. You basically kill them, get souls, and it basically shows it right around here to your right on your little bar, personal bar. And it says souls zero. So that's pretty much how it works. So you're probably wondering, how do I go? How does one go and buy enchantment? Uh, how, do, how does one go and buy custom enchants? I don't have any levels or any uh, souls or anything. I don't really play Overlord, so this is going to be quite tricky to actually um, like tell you about. So I'm going to try and do it as much as possible. I'm really sorry I can't actually give you like a full-on like really good um, explanation for it. So pretty much when you go to Warp Shop, you pretty much just go left and find the Soul Merchant. It's not Enchant Merchant. People will probably like be like, oh, it's an in Enchant Merchant, but it's not. It's basically over here. So basically Soul Merchant, you click on here and you go on Custom Enchants. So each custom enchant uh, type of book costs a certain amount of souls. So it's 750 souls. So that's 750, um, like that's, you know, you got to kill enough mobs to get 750 souls and you basically get a basic enchantment book. I can't buy it at the moment because I have no souls on my account. Or if you want an advanced one, which is basically a better one, it is 2,500. And then if you want an extreme one, it's 10,000 souls as well, which is absolutely insane. And some of these things can have so much good enchants on it. It can, it, you know, it can give you extra hearts. It can give you like infinite speed. It can give you infinite strength, stuff like that. And it's really, really useful. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd really recommend doing that if you want to play on the server because everyone else will be having them. Um, so yeah, it, it, it's pretty good. And also you can buy stuff like Reaper items. So you can buy this for souls. So you can buy like prop for Unbreaking Free. You can buy Necrotic Charms and Void Charms and Ancient Charms. You can buy kill tracker uh, for sword and knights you got a kill tracker for bow just pretty much everything you've got all this stuff it's not really custom enchants based so i'm not going to go too much into it um because we're just going and focusing on custom enchants for now um and then you can have like an overload essence which is 40 percent uh 40 souls 40 000 souls and it basically protects your desirable items by granting it immunity basically just putting it on your book i believe or your item and basically makes it so it doesn't break because pretty much when you get your book, so let's just say I've got a book here. This is an invisible book. You basically put it, like, click it, drag it, put it onto your item uh, that you want, and it can either break the sword, uh, break the book, or it can break, or it just doesn't work or something. I can't remember. Um, it's pretty much like Cosmic. If you ever play Cosmic, that's basically how it works. You basically just drag the book on it. And different books can have different types of uh, like ex um, success rate and destroy rate. So you want to find a book that has a higher uh, success rate than destroy rate. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about custom enchants. I'm not very familiar about custom enchants, but that is pretty much all you got to do to actually get them. Uh, you can pretty much learn that yourself. I There's so many enchants that you can find out about like on the forums, which will be a link down below for. Um, I can't go through every single one because it literally will take so long because there's so many enchants. But if you want to get like a better explanation for it, um, just go on the forums and you'll be able to read like what every single enchant does. Um, so it's very, very useful. But also in factions, you can basically get enchanting, which basically is just, it's not custom enchant, it's just normal enchant. Because on this server, you don't have XP. Because obviously your XP bar is used for headhunting. And because you uh because your XP bar is used for headhunting, you can't get any levels. You can't get level 30, you can't enchant stuff. There's no enchantment tables on this server. So pretty much all you gotta do to do it is instead of actually doing it, uh, I can't actually do it right now because I've actually got uh let me get like a sword or something. Um wait, 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 what can I do? PV1? I don't have permission to do that? Wait, what? That's actually really awkward. I actually re didn't realize I'm on Overlord and I'm not on Skeleton, so I can't actually do PV. I was wondering where all my stuff was uh, and why I couldn't do slash PV. But yo, let's go and buy a little uh, pickaxe. I've got a pickaxe now in my inventory. And let's just go to this place. So you basically just hold the item that you want to enchant in your hand and click on the merchant with it on. So pretty much it will give you the option for all the enchants that you can get with the diamond pickaxe. So you have stuff like efficiency, unbreaking, fortune, and silk touch. So pretty much if I want to get efficiency five, you pretty much just click on efficiency five and then click again on efficiency 
uh, five, which is uh, thirty seven thousand five hundred. So uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. You know, it's not that expensive, but you know, if you, you need to make a farm to get these, that's the only way you can actually get enchanted. If you don't have like a rank that gives you like really good like tools and that, or swords or armor, you can basically buy your prop four and like armor stuff from here. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. So yeah, that, that, that that's how you do enchants and custom enchants. Alright guys, so the next step, which is the second to last step, I believe, or the third to last step, is pretty much hordes slash summers. So hordes and summers are pretty much things that spawn in the spawn war zone, and um, they're things that you can kill, and when you kill them, you can, you know, you can get nice loot, you can get like armor pieces, you can get stuff like that. I think it's just armor pieces, I think you can get like more stuff, depending on what like thing you're killing. Uh, they're quite easy to kill unless you don't have like good armor and like good uh, swords and stuff So definitely gear up when you're killing these and also it is in the war zone So like you don't have to just look out for hordes and summoners You gotta look out for these people as well. You no know, other players fighting these hordes See that you're killing them want the gear that you got from the hordes and basically kill you So just be uh, you know be cautious, you know people can kill you as well as well as the hordes as well So don't um, you know, don't go down there on the geared. You're gonna have to go down there quite geared and maybe with a few team members as well So um, yeah, you pretty much just drop down here Luckily, there's actually a hole that's gone on right now So I think there's 50 that spawn but to begin with and then after they die like over time There's like 25 so I'm actually gonna jump down. I don't think there's many people on at the moment There's only like uh, 21 people on because obviously it's like midday and also um, this serves a bit I would say dead, it's just a little bit like less busy because everyone knows that it's going to be resetting soon. So there's not many people on right now. Um, so wait, can I actually do my kit? Because I actually need some food right now. Let me do my daily kit. Let me get some armor on so I'm a little bit more geared. Please say no one kills me. Um, but yo, let's go and find some hordes and I'll show you what they do. Okay guys, we've got a horde right here. So it's basically a skeleton right here. And you pretty much just kill it. I am very undergeared right now, so I'm actually kind of scared. I'm gonna try and kill this as like well as possible. And it's actually chasing after me. I am very scared. I am very scared. I am very scared. I'm probably gonna die to it because these are actually really OP I'm only in iron armor. Like they do quite a lot of health. So let's just keep on shooting it. Hopefully it'll die. And there we go. I got some diamond armor and I got prot to unbreaking free. I'm actually gonna put that on right now because I'm actually really undergeared. Um, but yeah, you pretty much just kill them. You get armor. Some armor is better than others. So like right here, let's um there's another one. So there we go, we just killed another one and we got a prot two unbreaking two uh, helmet as well. So you know you get some good armor from this as um, like as long as you just kill them. And also the good thing about killing hordes that I did go over in head hunting 2.0 is pretty much when you rank up in head hunting 2.0, you need to kill these hordes because when you get up to the high levels, it does require you to kill the hordes. And I need to go log off because I haven't got money and I need to keep my fishing rod. Because if I if I if I lose my fishing rod, I am screwed. Because I don't have any money. I need my money. Sorry, I didn't mean to lose log off right then. I just didn't want to die. That guy was gonna just kill me. Even though I'm in iron armor, I, I don't understand that. Okay, we're back on the server and <laughs> the guy's not there anymore. Thank God for that. But um, yeah, it's pretty much how hordes work. Like, you know, they just spawn in every single now and then. Uh, I don't know if there's actually a command for it. I don't know if you can do slash horde or... Oh yeah, horde. So uh, last one was six minutes ago. I don't know how often they spawn, but they probably spawn like every single couple of hours because they're not super OP. They're, you know, they're things that you can just get easy, like prop two, prop like one on and stuff like that. Just easy, like little pieces of armor. It's not too OP. Um, so yeah, it, it, it happens quite often, but if you want to see when it was last on, pretty much just go to that, and that's pretty much how you do it. And then you've got summoners as well, pretty much people can buy like spawn eggs or even win spawn eggs from crate keys. And the basically boss summoners that you can basically just spawn into the war zone and you kill them for loot. And I think every... <laughs> And I think everyone can kill them, so uh, yeah, you just gotta look out for that. And it, it basically, when someone spawns one in the war zone, you pretty much can just go and kill it because it basically automatically just puts it in the chat, like announces it to the whole server that someone has spawned one. So you basically just go in the war zone, try and find it before it dies, and try and get some hits on it because even though if you don't kill it, it basically tracks how many hits everyone has done on it. And I think it gives a reward to the top one, um, I mean, top three or top five people. Alright guys, so the last part of this tutorial guide thing until we get to the others part, which is just a little thing with like all the like little things like lottery and things like that. 
uh, and like hoppers and things so um yeah so the last thing is going to be fishing so the way you get to fishing is pretty much by going slash spawn running forward going down like these steps right to this little hole pit right here and you basically just jump down and turn around go north uh, i don't know if there's any over there but if you go north there's definitely a massive lake there I've actually had to record this a couple of times because I'm literally just getting hunted down by people. Like, every single time I go down there, people just... There's always this guy that just tries to find me that you probably see in the last clip, so it's kind of annoying. I'm going to have to be really quick about this because I'm trying to show you guys, but it's really hard because this guy just keeps on trying to hunt me down, which is really, really annoying. So, um, yeah, so you basically just go down here, get a fishing rod, go to the shop, buy a fishing rod. It's basically only $250 in the fish merchant at yeah, slash warp shop. And you basically just jump down and go to the lake. So right here, you basically just see, to get to the lake, go onto the path to the mountains, you basically just follow this path all the way over here, hopefully someone doesn't come up and kill me, uh, but yeah, you pretty much just go up here to the lake, and by the way guys, you don't have to be geared, don't go here like naked or in like iron armor or anything, you're gonna have to go here quite geared, because people do go here to PvP, because people do just AFK fish here, um, especially when it's really quiet, and I thought that was a person right there, but thank fudge it wasn't. So pretty much you just go here, you can go anywhere around the lake, you can literally go like anywhere as long as there's water. And I'll just go around a little bit more just so I don't get like, you know, snuck up on like from there, because that's like the obvious place, because that's where like, you know, the sign is. So you just go around here, find a nice little quiet spot, go through, with, go with some mates, make sure you're geared up because people can kill you from out of nowhere on this. So just make sure you are geared up and just make sure you're with your friends as well because, you know, people will just kill you and people are just savage on the server. They'll just kill you no matter what, even if you've got nothing at all. There's a guy there literally fishing right now and um, I'm just going to let him be. Hopefully he doesn't kill me or anything. But pretty much get your fishing rod out and it basically says get your fishing rod into the enchanted lake so you pretty much just put your rod in there and usually you know in normal fishing you'd basically wait until there's like particles that get to the fish but not on this server it basically says fishing rod casted watch and listen for a catch and basically just keep looking on your screen because when it basically is able to like when you've actually caught a fish it won't like bob up and down it'll basically put in chat like right on your screen that you bite so basically you it came up with that thing saying that you you know you've got a bite on your fishing rod basically just click on it bring it back and you've got a clownfish you can win some pretty cool stuff you can win like lost treasures and stuff like from this i believe you, i don't know what else you can win but you can win some pretty nice stuff you can win money i think and um yeah we can just win this fish and you can sell it back for more uh which isn't too bad you know selling just fish that you can easily just fish out but you can get some like lost treasures and stuff but uh yeah you just get loads of fish and um yeah that's pretty much how you do it so guys the last thing on the list finally is going to be basically the other section so the other section is basically going to consist of stuff like elixirs hoppers um rank benefits head flip and lottery uh there might be a few little things in there added in but um yeah apart from that that's pretty much it so the first thing that we're going to learn about is warp shop which pretty much has elixirs so if you don't know what elixirs are it's pretty much um potions it's basically custom potions you can get potions that are like built into two so you can like both into one i mean so you can pretty much get like a potion which has like speed and strength on the same one so you basically just go to the elixir merchant click on this and as you see you get like strength two and speed two on the same potion um and it lasts one minute 30 seconds each you got water breathing for 30 minutes you get fire resistance for 30 minutes you got haste too you get speed free and invisibility you get speed uh regeneration and antidote i don't know what antidote is uh you get regeneration too and antidote and stuff like that so um yeah that's pretty much elixirs really simple it's basically just uh potions that give you like more like longer buffs it's basically just custom potions which you can't craft you can only buy them um like you can't brew them or anything you can only buy them and you can also get them from like crate keys and things like that so the next thing that we've got is hoppers so pretty much on this server if you don't know about hoppers there are things called mob hoppers and crop hoppers i won't be able to show you what mob hoppers do but it's basically the same thing as crop hoppers but instead of using crops and stuff like that it basically is um like uses mobs and basically automatically kills mobs i'll try and explain it as much as possible for the mob hopper one but i'll be able to show you what these do so pretty much you come here and it looks like a normal hopper but you know it doesn't say crop hopper on it it's basically you can convert it into a crop hopper so you can pretty much just buy a normal hopper for 25k and then once you've got it in your inventory so let me just say i've got this hopper right here all you got to do is type into chat slash slash convert 
hopper crop and uh, that's pretty much all you do you basically just do slash convert crop uh, hopper space crop basically turns it into a crop uh, thing so it basically retrieves cactus so once you go to your base let's just say my base is home test and this is like a massive obsidian base with like a massive cactus farm let's just say this wall is our base over here slash cormo and um yeah you have a cactus farm and basically you can see the thing by doing slash f uh, space sc which basically shows you the chunk so pretty much it shows you your 16 block by 16 block chunk which is all of this here pretty much your hopper basically works with the whole chunk it doesn't matter if it's all the way at y250 or if it's all the way down at like y5 or something like that everything in this chunk if you have a cactus farm that is that big it will break everything it will automatically break the cactus and put it into the hopper and it basically puts it into the chest and uh, all you need is just one hopper going into the chest and then also after that you just have to have normal hoppers basically going down into the chest you can make like, a massive chest system it basically just saves you from like making a massive like water filter basically like water stream going into like one hopper which can be very slow this basically just automatically breaks the cactus and basically puts it into the hopper for you put it into a chest like so um i think i've got a chest yeah so you got a chest right here place down your chest place the crop hopper and it basically will automatically break the cactus that is grown around it and will basically put it into the uh crop hopper and put it into the chest and then you can make like a massive like chest like hopper like system down below which it will go into and uh, things like that so that's pretty much just crop hoppers and now i'm just gonna leave that hopper there because i don't really need it let's go to warp shop again and i'll quickly explain uh, mob hoppers so mob hoppers are a lot more expensive they are 600k per one so these are very very hard to obtain especially at the beginning of the map but obviously you'll be able to get it at one point and i very i am very much advise you to get them because they are super op so pretty much when you get your hopper you basically have it in your inventory and originally it is pig it's automatically pig so basically when you put it down it will only work for pigs and it'll basically uh, get all the mobs in that chunk uh, goes into the hopper and basically sits on top of the hoppers and just kills it it doesn't look like they're they are dying because it doesn't actually like uh, show any like damage effects it basically just kills them automatically um without them even dying so if like you have like a pig and it doesn't look like it's dying like it's not taking effect uh like it's not taking like damage or anything trust me it is dying it's basically just dying and going into your hopper um but let's say you have a pig hopper but you have like skeletons and zombies and iron golems all in the same chunk and you're wanting them to all into the same one you are gonna have to get different mob hoppers for each one because when you have a hopper in your inventory hover over it with like have it in your hand and basically just do slash assign and then type in the mob that you want so let's just say uh i want it to change into an iron golem you basically or like you know creeper you pretty much just do that and it will only use for the creeper so if you've got a creeper spawner around it'll basically put the creepers into the hopper when they spawn and if you have a pig spawner or a zombie spawner it won't go into the hopper so you have to buy separate mob hoppers so don't think that if you buy one hopper a uh, mob hopper it will basically work for every single one it does but it only works with one at a time and you can basically change that by just doing slash assign and then the mob that you want so on the server as me as well as like many other servers you can buy ranks and the ranks on the server aren't actually that expensive compared to other ones which i really really do like and also at the beginning of resets there's normally a reset um like sale so if you do want to go and buy a rank at the beginning of the reset do go and uh buy them in the shop down below i'll put it in the description if you guys do want to go and buy ranks as there is a reset uh, like sale most of the time so uh if you are wait if you're wanting to buy a rank i would definitely wait until after reset um and basically just do it and wait for a sale because normally a sale i hope there is a sale because i'm planning on buying a ton of crate keys but um yeah so pretty much wait for the sale and go down below and get ranks and pretty much when you buy ranks you get different types of like rank benefits i don't know what you get like fully for like all the other ones but especially if you buy overlord which isn't actually that expensive i think it's like around 50 pounds like yeah that's expensive for a lot of other people but for the for the top rank 40 pounds or like 40 something pounds or like 50 pounds it's quite cheap for a rank for like especially the top rank i believe i think it's 50 pounds let me actually have a quick check you can also just do slash buy in chat gives you a link to the website and then you just go on ranks and um 
it was actually 90 pounds that's kind of awkward i didn't actually realize it was that uh much money but yeah 90 pounds for the top rank compared to like the archon where like the top rank is like 600 pounds or 600 dollars or something so it is a massive difference you know 90 pounds for the top rank isn't that much but on at the moment it's actually on sale as well but i think there might be a bigger sale for reset sorry i got that a little bit messed up um it's 90 pounds and not like 50 pounds uh, i don't know where i saw that i don't know where i thought it was like 50 pounds for the top rank but um, yeah, 90 pounds for the top rank and stuff like that you get with that is pretty much like really cool stuff like uh, slash TNT fill, uh, which basically means like if you are in a cannon, um, like if you're near a cannon and you want to like fill up the dispensers instead of like, like, you know, just going into every single dispenser and like filling up with TNT, you know, manually, you can do it automatically by just basically just doing slash TNT fill if you do have the top rank TNT fill and then the amount of TNT that you want to put into each one. You have to have TNT in your inventory when you do this. So let's say I want to have three in each dispenser. You basically do slash uh, TNT fill uh, three. Um, and also you've got to put in the regular or trenching TNT as it would just be like which TNT is actually in your inventory and which one you want to use. So uh, that's pretty much how you use that. You can also do stuff like slash fix all and things like that. But uh, I think everyone knows about that anyway, so I won't go into much detail. But um, yeah, for rank benefits, they're pretty good benefits. And you can read more about them like on the ranks when you go and buy them in the store. If you just click on it, it'll basically just show you all the rank benefits you get. Uh, like the commands and things and you also get some pretty nice kits as well so um yeah that's pretty much all you get and that's all it is for the rank benefits so another thing on this server which i don't condone i do not condone gambling and this is a very big gamble for you guys but on this server you have a thing called uh, head flip so pretty much if you just type in head flip um if i spell it right head flip it basically comes up with what you got to do head flip wager so head flip um space wager space the name of the person that you want to wager you basically just let's say i want to do myself I, I can't do myself let's just do like i don't know 5jr he's actually in my faction do 5jr um you you sent a request he's not actually going to accept it i don't think maybe he he, he might <laughs> i think he saw it but i don't think he's actually going to do it because he's probably thinking that oh what, what a rando but um yes yeah, so you basically just do that you put in how much you stuff you can like you can head flip items you can head flip money and basically it's just a 50 50 chance of basically getting it um uh one person is basically skeleton head and one person's with a skeleton head if it lands on skeleton head and you're the skeleton head you win if it lands on the with a skeleton head and they are the with a skeleton head then they win and you lose your stuff and they win it so um yeah it's basically like a 50 50 gamble uh but if you want to do that and you're into that people make a lot of money from it but like i said it is a big gamble so uh be very careful with it and you know get know what you're getting yourself into and just don't be stupid with it and um yeah pretty much that's all you got to do for head flipping the last thing on this server that I'm going to be getting into, um, you know, this is a very long video, so I'm very sorry for that, uh, is going to be lotteries. So pretty much what you got to do for the lottery is just go to Warp Shop, turn around, and pretty much the lottery guy is right here. So you basically just click on him, and it shows you stuff like lottery winners, so the last lottery winner, so the regular lottery winner, which is every single day. Um, so this guy won 8,000, uh, he bought 16 tickets, um, and uh, basically he's the winner. And then you get the deluxe one, which is weekly. Uh, the winner was that, and he actually won 57 million, which is absolutely insane. Um, so pretty much deluxe ticket is 10,000 per cost. Um, and then like, so right now the deluxe pot is 6 million, 6.4 million. Um, and that basically means people have put in that many tickets for it to be up to 6.4 million. And it basically ends in six days and 11 hours. So that is weekly. Uh, basically ends on the 24th of March uh, 9 p.m. And then also you have the daily ones, which basically ends every single day. So at 8 p.m. every single day ends in 10 hours. It costs a thousand to do it. Um, and basically tickets purchased zero daily. And the price pool for that is 1.9 mil, I believe. So basically the way you get it. So if you want to do the daily one, you basically just click on this, type in how many you want. So um, one number basically equivalents to 1K. So this one, it's 1K per ticket. So you basically just type in how many tickets you want to buy. So let's say I want to buy 10, which is 10K. Uh, type in 10, click OK. It says that I can't do it because I've only got 104. Make sure you've got enough money to do it. 
buy tickets, wait, and it'll basically just put the money into your account if you win. It is, you know, it's just a prize pool, you know, you, you can win, you can lose, just be careful with it. Again, it's just like the head flipping thing, be careful with what you do. And then also with the other one, uh, it's 10K, so let's say I wanna do 100K, which is 10. Uh, just type in that and it says you need 100K for it. That's pretty much all you gotta do for lottery. And um, yeah, hopefully that helped you out. Alright guys, so that's going to be the end of the episode for today, and uh, yeah, if this helped you out in any way, and you know, if it helped you out, or you just appreciate the amount of time I spent on this, literally, I'm actually at the point where my voice is actually starting to hurt, I don't know how long this is going to be, I feel like this video is probably going to be like over an hour and a half long, so um, yeah, I'm not really looking forward to uploading it, or like rendering it, because it's probably going to take about 12 hours to render, and then uh, probably a couple of hours to actually upload, so that's going to be absolutely fun to do. But yeah guys, like I said, if you did enjoy this or if you did find it helpful or if you just like really want to like help me out, I really appreciate it if you leave a like on this video and also just like share it with your friends. If you've got any friends that are new to Psycho um, or just factions in general and you want to show them my channel and this video to help them out instead of just spending hours and hours and hours on like showing them what to do and telling them what to do and you want to just direct them to a video that tells them everything you really need to know. Um, definitely go and do that, it will really help me out and to also subscribe to the channel as it really helps me out. Uh, my goal is 500 subscribers, so if you can help me try and get to that, that'd be absolutely amazing. And um, yeah, so like I said at the beginning of the video, if I did miss out anything uh, that you think I should have covered in this video, definitely tell me down in the comments down below because um, I will maybe try and help you out in the comments with it. But if I haven't like covered it, it's probably something that I don't know uh, like, and I don't know enough stuff to actually talk about it in this video but if there's anything that i did miss and it's quite obvious and you need me to answer any uh, ask any que answer any questions about it do tell me down below and um i'll try and uh, you know tell you as much as possible of what i know and uh yeah by the way guys if this video seemed a bit all over the place and if it was like really bad i am really sorry i try to be more like i try to not get off topic a lot i try to like stay focused and if i like kind of model up my word a bit especially like the first half of the freaking video it's because it was like really late at night and also like i was just really tired and also my voice is really bad at the moment i've got kind of a cold um and it was very hard to actually speak sometimes like it was hard to get out my words um because like every single time i was talking like it would like clog up my throat guys before i leave for today's video if you can go and watch my last video which is basically a factions um like psycho pvp factions video which is basically a video where i need your help to basically help me decide which realm i should be playing on i basically got it down to overlord and skeleton overlord and skeleton um it's basically out to those two uh and if you want to go and vote on which one you want me to play if you play on overlord or if you play on skeleton and you want me to join you on that i feel like i'm more leaning towards skeleton but the voting is currently skeleton's winning but you know currently skeleton is winning but you know they're very very tight at the moment i think it's like between like one vote so um yeah i'm kind of leaning towards skeleton more because you know i've already got the rank and i've actually got a faction on there where they've actually like allowed me in and I feel like I'm quite trusted in there and I, I get along with them well. So um, yeah, hopefully that goes all well. But if you want to like let me know and please vote on that because it will help me out with like deciding because it's quite even at the moment. It's kind of confusing my brain. So uh, yeah. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave that for today. Hopefully you did enjoy this video and uh, yeah, do all those things that I said before. Leave a like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you in the next video. Hope you have a nice rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.